I know you didn't ask for this video and I can agree with you that I am also very sick of seeing people dye or bleach their hair. But I'm gonna give myself an exception because this is a very monumental point in my life. Why? Because of this reason. And I may have talked about this before, I think I have, but I believe for the majority of my life that I have blonde hair. I thought I was a blonde. And then about like three months ago, I was looking back at pictures and I saw, holy guacamole, I'm not a blonde. This, this is not blonde. What was I thinking? So with that realization, I have come to the conclusion that we need to retire this blonde life of mine, but not completely, just a little bit. So goodbye, blonde life. Hello, brunette life, but they're also going to become friends, okay? And I agree, this isn't an original idea. Yes, I was inspired last year by Joanna Cedia. And yes, now I am quite, in fact, being inspired by Dua Lipa, Haley Williams, Reverse, Emma Chamberlain, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'm not original, all right? I flow with the crowd. So today's the day. A monumental day. So we're gonna make this bottom half brunette and this top half blonde. This is what I hope I look like. Looks high fashion and cool, okay? We're walking on thin ice. I'm just gonna say that. So first things first, I'm gonna part the hair for when it's gonna, where it's gonna be blonde and brown, okay? Kinda hard because when I want the hair laying down, I don't want the brown underneath to seep through and look like a skunk. I'm just gonna go straight through this Part of my hair. I gotta say, that's a pretty crisp line there. I've got my hair sectioned off with some little cute little space buns in the front. Um, here's the back. I hope I don't fry my hair off. Let's uh, get this going. Normally when I did this before, I would put coconut oil in my hair before and then I watched a Brad Mondo video teaching the people how to do it and he said that's useless. Thing is, is I like putting oil in there because it would just make it easier to like go through my hair. But my hair is pretty oily right now. It's been like a week since I washed my hair because I really want to make sure that my scalp was in the best possible condition. I really love that they gave me a little measuring thing. How nice. One of those. And I did go with 30 volume this time. I usually go with 20 volume because Brad Mondo said to do 30 volume. But I gotta say, when I did 20 volume before, it lifted just fine. So I'm kind of scared that I'm gonna be using 30 volume and a part of me kind of just wants to add a little bit of water. I think I might put some conditioner in it. I don't, just to like dilute it a little bit. We're really doing this thing. Going in. I hope I look like Dua Lipa by the end of this. And if I don't, be a little sad. How does this already have hair in it? This hasn't touched my hair. Weird. Weird. Okay, let's do this. I just set a timer for 40 minutes. So, you know, I'm feeling a little skeptical because this bleach just feels a lot different than the bleach I've used in the past. Multi blonde, multi something. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out. Lightener. I didn't say bleach though. Isn't that the same thing? Okay, so up to seven levels of lift. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Why am I wasting my time? There's a lot of hair in my mouth. Okay, next section. You know, the hard part is, is a lot of times bleach overlaps with the, like, your bleached part, like, right by the knee of the root, and then those parts get super light and it just looks disgusting. I'm no expert, so I don't really know how to avoid it. Ow! I hate hair for this one purpose, is that it just hurts. The level of stress that I get from this is like really intense, but also I kind of like it because, I don't know, it's like, it would change. Things are changing. I gotta say, the only reason that this is possible for me is because of this mirror that I have in my bathroom. It has like three, three of them, and so then I can see the back of my head. If it wasn't for this, this would be a disaster. You know what's also a shame is I was wanting to talk about like a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in my mind. My heart's been pretty heavy lately. And unfortunately, this is just too tasking of a thing to really talk about anything else other than you doing your hair, which is kind of boring, but it's literally, I, there's not enough space up here to talk about anything else. On to the last, ow. I hate hair, it hurts, it has small little strands and it pulls at your scalp. Oh. Last quadrant, and then we're gonna move on to dyeing the bottom half brown. 
We're nearing to the last 10 minutes, which means we've been doing this already for 30 minutes. I know, doesn't time just fly by so fast? It, poof, there went. And I really don't want my hair to fall out because I'm gonna be real. My hair is struggling, it is. Um, the underneath parts are just very, and I kind of got used to like pulling my hair out, which is really bad, I know, because I would just find these, that was, that's what my hair would look like. And I'd be like, I don't like that. So I would just pull it out, which is why it's gonna now be brown. So I just ignore it and don't do anything about it. You know, I gotta say, I'm kind of feeling like a pro. Like I'm really, this is taking, this is, this is a lot better than it used to be. Going through all the layers, saturating it. My brush is stuck in my hair. Okay. <laughs> it hurts so bad. Do you ever feel like there's like spiders and weird insects climbing on your legs? And then you look and there's nothing there. It's better that there isn't than if there was, but it's just it fools you. You think there's something there and there isn't. Right now, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling there's spiders clawing on my legs. And it might just be me like freaking out. Okay, I'm just gonna massage my scalp to make sure that everything has been bleached. So I just noticed a thing and um, this thing kind of worries me because once I dye this area brown, I hope the problem isn't there anymore. Do you, do you see that? Do you see that? Okay, there's a timer. It's been 40 minutes. I'm gonna wait five, okay? And then I'm going to put the very, very diluted bleach all over. Feel strong, it's not stretching or anything crazy. Okay, I'm gonna now dilute the bleach with a lot of conditioner and some water that all over. It's been five minutes. Oh no. Can you see that? You can see where the roots are and then you can see where it overlapped and it's so blonde there. Change of plans. I'm gonna wash this down and then we're gonna tone and dye it. Yeah, that sounds good. Good, I'm gonna wash, wash my hair. So I've washed my hair and then when it was wet, I added a little bit more bleach so that I got rid of more of the orangey tones and then I showered again and then here I am and I've sectioned it off. And now we're gonna tone this top part and finally be making the bottom part brown. Let's see what we've got here. I have these two toners. This one's like more for the icy look and this I'm guessing is more of like a natural brunette. And I don't want it to be icy, but I still want it to be really blonde and I don't really want it like super caramely. So I'm gonna mix them. I don't know if you can do that, but I'm gonna do it. Yes, and they're supposed to go with a 20 volume developer, but I only have 30, so I'm just gonna add water. And it's supposed to be a two to one ratio, I believe. I'm gonna do equal parts of the icy one, with the darker blonde toner. Why did I just do that? Why did I just do that? I feel like I just got some serious stuff up there. Okay. Are you kidding me? I think I only have one glove left. So, or do I? I don't know. I'll be back. All right, last glove. We'll see about this. Oh no. I have a very good idea of how this is gonna turn out. So this is gonna be more yellow, and then here is gonna be very purpley icy. I know it, it's just so not cute. I hope it doesn't turn out purple. Now is the time to do the brunette color. So I got this trick from my idol, the best person that ever did walk this earth, Ashley, aka Best Dressed. She is amazing. And I came across one of her videos from 2017 where she was um, going brown from her bleach blonde hair. And she recommended doing equal parts of, what is this? Ugh. Okay, sorry. Um, Equal parts of 5R, Wella, demi-permanent dye and 3N so that it doesn't turn out too green because the 5R is more of a red shade and this one's just straight up brown. And then it's gonna pop hopefully equal eyes and then there's gonna be a nice, rich, beautiful brown. And according to the box, I believe this stays in your hair for up to 20 minutes and this one up to 30 minutes. And this has already been on my hair for about 10 minutes. So go me, perfect timing. But it also said that you want 10 volume developer and I have 30. So I believe we need one third developer with two thirds water. Okay, that mixture looks good. You see that? The chestnut is very chestnutty. So 
Ugh, this looks like a really freaky soup. It's not mixing because it's so watery. It does kind of smell good. It has like a little minty, minty fresh scent. Mm. Very calming. Guys, I really don't know if it's like true to add water to the developer to make it the right um, percentage, but according to the subreddit that I found, it's fine. Hello, do you see that? It's like red. Oh guys, I don't know. The subreddit told me it was fine. I don't know what to do. Yeah, we're just gonna continue. This is like not looking cute. That's like purpley and this is like orangey. Oh, I don't know what's going on. What have I done? And I'm not saying this to like add dramatic effect whatsoever. What have I done? Do you see that? Do you see that? How can that be fixed? But I gotta say, it's looking pretty dark. That's pretty crazy. But how? This is my only problem. This. We're fine. We're fine. I say this every time, like I really freak out. Um, and for good reason, let me tell you. Okay, I think it's darkening up a little bit. It's darkening up. <gasps> a little bit, okay, good. Yeah, I'm just gonna rinse some of this out because it's looking really, really purple and that is nasty. The under this uh, brown part is looking pretty brown, you gotta say. Um, the top is looking pretty purple. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna wash it and then I'm gonna blow dry it and then I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'm gonna see you. Hopefully a new woman. All on, here I am, here's my hair. It's giving me very skunky vibes, which wasn't really what I was going for. But you know, I gotta say, I gotta say it's looking a lot more crazy on the camera. This looks a lot more dark and this looks a lot more light than it really is. Like this looks white. This isn't that white. It is like, right, you know, whatever, whatever. I did my makeup. I got, I don't know how I'm feeling about the colors. It's looking a little weird, I just gotta say, but. Here it is. Am I okay with it? <sighs> I gotta look in the mirror. I think I'll get used to it. You know, I really, I gotta say, I think I'm meant to be brunette, brown. I don't know. Anyways, new me. Yay, skunk vibes, I guess. I don't know. All right. Bye.